सो वेलकम टू आर चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और वील एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ मच वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज अलाउड इन अ सर्किट इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन कार ट्रक और एल सी वी एनी एल सी वी व्हीकल सो बिफोर जम्पिंग टू द फिगर वेदर लाइक अलेवन वोल्ट इन द केस ऑफ कार और Uh, in the case of uh, lcv or trucks you are using the 24 volt of source then how much is allowed uh, the voltage how much voltage drop is allowed okay 1 volt 2 volt or 3 volt so before jumping to that figure we will try to understand what is voltage and voltage drop so because technician mostly will work on that and that is very important factor which plays very vital role in the deciding the or diagnose the fault so voltage as you can see that voltage is electromotive force between the two points so so voltage uh, is a electromotive force between the two points in a circuit so suppose we take the example of uh, battery so when you place the uh, dmm that is digital multimeter between the two terminals of battery one is your positive terminal and one is uh, your negative terminal so what you are actually measuring that is the electromotive force or you can say the voltage so this is the definition of voltage when you are working on the uh, any vehicle it plays very important role in diagnosis of the fault so let's understand what type of application of voltage we have so there are three types of voltage so first is the source voltage second is the available voltage and third is the voltage drop how much voltage drop happened during a particular circuit or across the two terminals so volt source voltage what is the source voltage if you are working on the car so your source voltage is 12 volt battery right if you are working on the uh, trucks or your cv commercial vehicle then you will be having your 24 volt as a source voltage right this is your source voltage so source voltage is nothing but the battery supplies whatever your battery is supplying that is your source voltage then what is the measuring voltage measuring voltage is nothing but measuring you are measuring through the dmm that is digital multimeter that is the measured voltage so if you are uh, you know measuring between the two 12 volt uh, battery then it will come 12 volt if you are measuring between this uh, cv vehicles then it will come 24 volt what is available voltage so available voltage suppose uh, you have uh, this 12 volt battery and you have one resistance or you resistance means load suppose right so suppose after once you have here the 12 voltage and you are taking one wire till here how much voltage is there so that is called your available voltage and you can measure through the dmm also this is the same thing then voltage drop the most part of electric circuit offers some of the resistance so this particular wire will also offer some of the resistance so every element has resistance and which causes the voltage drop so once you have the resistance it will cause the uh, voltage drop okay so voltage drop is proportionally to resistance so as your resistance will be more your voltage drop will also more so this is the concept now we will see in the next slide ki how we are talking about the source voltage so suppose as i told you this is your battery and you put your black lead of dmm uh, on the uh, battery negative terminal and uh, battery positive terminal you put the uh, red uh, red lead of your dmm then it will be measuring your source voltage on the source itself then available voltage so after that this is your ignition switch right and this is your starter motor so if i am trying to find out whether this here to here how much voltage is available so suppose your fusible link itself is blown right and you are getting the in that case what voltage you will get that would be the zero volt right so that's why this plays very vital role when you are diagnosing your fault in the circuit 
so this is your available bolt uh, available uh, voltage then you come to the starter motor so in starter motor also you can find out okay my positive voltage wire will go from here to here then i will be having the ignition switch then we will be having the uh, some switches like neutral switches or clutch switch then it, it it is going to this starter motor so how much voltage is dropped from here to here and how much is allowed so as of now i will just tell you the uh, value that 0.5 volt is allowed in starting circuit so suppose you you are having the 12 volt uh, battery so your uh, uh, voltage drop should be 0.5 volt it means it should so in the range of 11 to 11.5 11.5 should be there 11.5 volt should be there on this terminal so this is the voltage drop uh, you know calculation or you can say the concept behind the measuring the voltage drop so how you can measure the measure you can measure the any two point in a circuit between the two points a any point in a circuit and ground or across any component suppose you are having the switches you have the relay you have the connectors wires and cables so this is how you can check the voltage drop and you can find out okay how much voltage drop is there and uh, the our circuit how how it is behaving so these things you can ensure so let's move to the available voltage what are the steps to measure the available voltage so nothing you have the dmm so first thing you have to select the selector switch that you are measuring the dc volt right then second thing what you have to do you have to set the one range particular range right so suppose you are measuring the uh, 412 volt battery right so you always have to set one particular limit or range which is higher than 12 volt okay 20 volt you can uh, set the range or 40 volt you can set the range but it should always be 12 volt it should not be 10 volt otherwise it will not your dmm will not measure the voltage of that range then how you have to check so connect the voltmeter leads this leads okay in parallel with circuit element the red should be put on the positive side and negative should be put on the ground side right so suppose sometimes what happens that even everything is fine and still your uh, reading is showing the negative what does it mean right your polarity if you are uh, let me let me raise this one then i will tell you so suppose you have connected everything rightly okay positive on positive side negative on negative side but still your polarity of voltage is showing 12.12.62 what does it mean it means there is a problem in the circuit there is a short circuit you got the got the point got the point so if you are your polarity is also not correct then it gives you the sign that there is a some issue in the circuit so this is how you can find out or uh, uh, you know diagnose your faults so voltage drop in circuit so similarly uh, this is the same process that you can perform that you can put the positive lead on the most positive section and the negative lead on the negative section. and then you can measure the uh, voltage drop across the this particular circuit but now the uh, question comes how much voltage drop is allowed across the circuit we will try to understand what is the uh, concept of the voltage drop and how much figure or what is the standard so now so now we will try to understand uh, that how much value is allowed as a voltage drop okay so across the circuit or across across the schematic or across the uh, your switches connectors so there is a one rule so what is the rule i am telling based on my experience of 20 years but there might be different oem might be following different things but this is somewhat you know uh, it, it would be like near to uh, that value only it would not be like if i am telling you 90% so it not be like 50% or uh, it should not it would not be 40% it would be like 
some some of the oem might be following 95% so what is the rule just i tell you first so 90% of your system voltage system voltage should reach should reach to load so suppose this is my load so how how much value should reach so suppose this is my 12 volt battery and what would be the uh, 90% of this so 12 volt minus 1.2 how much it will come 8. Point okay so this is the rule that at least this is the minimum requirement that 90% of your system voltage should reach to the load but how much we limit so we limit till 3% of the voltage 3% of of system voltage system voltage is allowed is allowed as voltage drop voltage drop so my system voltage is 12 volt then 3% would be so 1% would be 0.12 into 3 so 0.36 so this is the voltage 0.3 is the voltage which is allowed across the uh, you know uh, most of the systems as a voltage drop okay so some of the special cases are there like charging system starting system where we allow till 0.5 volt as well as i have told you earlier also but this is the uh, a kind of rule that o oem is following that 3% of system voltage if it is 12 volt then it would be 0.3 if it is 24 so accordingly it would be like you can calculate based on the 3 3% of system voltage so this much voltage drop is allowed across the circuits so i hope you understand how much voltage drop is allowed and as i told you earlier also that 3% of system uh, voltage we try to maintain but it can go that 90% of system voltage should reach to the load that is also one thing you have to consider in your all the uh, design consideration or when you whenever you are uh, finding out the faults so thank you for your time uh, in next video we will try to understand so here you can see the same thing that across a switch uh, we uh, uh, relay contact or connector less than 200 millivolt 0.2 less, uh, less than 0.2 volt across section of harness 0.2 across the load approximately source voltage should be 12 point uh, more than 12.4 uh, volt so and some of the all uh, voltage drop in circuit equals to the source voltage okay so what does it mean like if i am here 12 volt and you have the two loads so this voltage drop and this voltage drop should be equals to the 12 volt and one more thing here i would say that uh, you can do from the voltage drop so voltage a loose pin in a connector or damaged wire may show the continuity in ohm meter but what happens in voltage drop in voltage drop you can find out the increased resistance that if it is not coming as a no normal values okay so th th that is the advantage when you are measuring with the voltmeter then in next video we will try to understand how to read the wiring diagram we will take one wiring diagram for nissan and then we will try to understand uh, that different uh, you know situations how to show the connectors then what is the wire color number then harness side connector view and wiring harness uh, uh, sorry wiring harness side connector view and uh, your your front view connectors okay then what is the male and uh, female terminals then we will try to understand the different uh, wiring diagram of this and what are the terminology in this then switches position then uh, what is detectable lines and non detectable lines this is very important 
because most of the time technician thinks that everything will come in the DTC that is diagnostic trouble code but there are many things which doesn't come in the DTC and you are not able to find out the particular fault then multiple switches position you can see here wiper switch and you can see here this is how it is represented these are the abbreviations then how to perform the electrical incident uh, if you have the some issue then what are the steps there are six steps we will try to understand in detail and what what are the condition of open circuit how to check all these things so if you like the content of this video please like subscribe and comment